Hello everybody, I am Mo the Wars, and this is Dishonored once again. And we are going after Barrister Timch here. We gotta take him out and grab that will that he's got. And if I can do that, then I'll be able to get what the information I'm looking for regarding Delilah. And I want to make sure I don't be seen. So I'm going to take some of these guards out. There we go. That's what we needed. Now, right, that abandoned apartment's over on the other side. That's where I'm going to throw this guy. Let him take a nap with all of his friends. I also want this thing. It's not important, just worth a lot of money. But it's hidden behind a wall of glass. I've got an idea. It worked! Peekaboo! Your turn! There you go. Sleepy, sleep old barrister Timch. That's what I need. I got your legal immunity document now. And I... Oh, that's one of the things that I needed. I also need this. And I'll go ahead and put you to bed right here. You have a good time sleeping in the bed. And other people get to sleep in that nasty-ass abandoned apartment. This way... They are nowhere to be seen when people come looking for them. And now that I've taken that legal immunity document he's got, and I'm pretty sure also planted the forged letter saying that he's supposed to have all his shit taken away on his unconscious body, now I just need to grab his will and do something else that will make it more likely to have people come looking for him. That's what we're gonna be doing here today. We're taking out a really corrupt ass landlord. And that could be a very broad statement. From what I hear, landlords are some of the most corrupt pieces of shit in existence running around saying, you gotta pay $500,000 a month for the privilege of staying in this shithole where you're not even allowed to keep your dog. Well, that's a guy. Weren't paying close enough attention. And you stay right here, and hopefully nobody else is coming to investigate. Somebody's looking around saying, I'll find you, I'll find you. Yeah, see, there he is, said he's gonna find me. But I don't think I he's... You're here. No, you don't. You don't know shit, mister. You're just down Where there, looking around for someone that might not even exist. Poof. And now that will is in here, I believe. Yep, that's, that's a will. Timch doesn't name himself the beneficiary in the will. He's giving the inheritance to Delilah. Uh-huh. I don't feel like reading that. What do I look like? Some kind of nerd. I'll still steal all your shit, though. Now, I just make my way to the basement. That's what I'ma do here. And there's the air circulator that I gotta mess with. And I also kinda want that bone charm. And I also gonna go ahead and put this maid here to sleep. Sleepy time maid. That's who you are. I'll just steal that shit for you. And go ahead and put you over in the corner where you are not likely to be disturbed. Now all I have to do is find this bone charm over here. And then I plant a doohickey in the doodad. And then we just watch the things happen. And that bone charm gives me more magic juice. And I should probably put more of these on. That would make 
life a little bit easier. Mine. And here we go. Drop the sack. Put the stanky sack in the air circulator. There you go. And that takes care of the Timsh problem. And now... We just go ahead and see what happens. And I will have to watch from a nice safe vantage point. Uh, let me see. Uh, uh, there we go. Haha. -ha, perfect. That's what I wanted. Now let me just perch myself up on one of these street lights. And that will give me the perfect place to watch. The perfect place from which to watch Timsh get what he got coming. That horrible stench. <sighs> I can barely breathe. Oh, uh, General Turnbull. Yes, I was expecting you. Uh, please come. Ah, Timsh. It smells like a weeper den. I thought we were secure. Hey, I heard you got eaten alive at The cards. neighborhood is Blow swept off. three times a week. Barrister Timsh. Please, call me Arnold. We're friends. Here. This will clear things up for you. The Regents arranged it. Here it goes. By the way, I don't think I ever got your first name. What is this? Is this a joke? I am not sure what you find funny about it. <laughs> Barrister Timsh, this is a letter from the Lord Regent dated a month ago, stating that your building is to be seized by the state immediately due to massive infection outbreak, and that your personal assets are forfeit if you do not comply immediately. A month ago? Are you showing me this to try to convince me that you're above the law? What? Let me see that. Ha. <laughs> you this, got got, this Tim. This is impossible. I, I, Barrister, <laughs> I am afraid I am going to have to take you into custody. And if I or any of my men contract the plague because of this visit, I'll see that your head rolls. No, no, no. This isn't the right document. This... Get him out of here before he starts bleeding from the eyes. And secure this court. It's under quarantine. Yes, sir. Well, he fainted. Now what? <laughs> I don't want to touch him. What if I get sick? I'll just wait for him to wake up. <laughs> yep. I, th I can hear him snoring. This is definitely not Timsh's day. First, some mysterious guy shows up and injects him with some kind of weird-ass sleepy juice. And then all this shit gets taken away by the government due to a little mix-up in documents that he had. And that takes care of him. I always love it when big, corrupt billionaires like that get what they got coming. And he most certainly did have it coming. If you were paying attention, they told you that he were... He was in charge of pointing out who does and doesn't have the plague and seizing their assets and he'd be pointing out people who didn't have the plague just so he could take their shit. He were a asshole and now he's gonna be spending the rest of his life rotting away in prison. A penniless beggar he is now. And I done did a good job of that more or less undetected and let's try to keep it that way as i just haphazardly teleport my way across town and hopefully don't overshoot any of my teleporty dudes thought i was about to overshoot that one but i didn't there's a bone charm up in there and one right over there I'm gonna go grab this one. I believe this one actually leads to an interesting interaction with a certain character. Right in here. Er. No, I'm thinking of another place. I believe that place is actually in this mission, and it might actually be that bone charm, unless I'm thinking of a different mission entirely, which is entirely possible. The thing I'm thinking of might just be in the Brigmore Witches part of the DLC, rather than the Knife of Dunwall, which I am currently playing. Poof! 
just a little more to go. And hoping that I don't get detected. Getting detected would be a bad for business. Now it's just over there. All right, I think I'm good. I think I'm not about to be seen. Yeah, because the only two people that were down here are already napping in the corner. That's right. That's what happened. That is what I did. Now let us speak to person. The barrister's enemies caught up to him. He's in custody as a plague victim. Here's the will as a That'll agreed. do nicely. Perhaps better. Yep. But you were promised information. Well, my uncle came under Delilah's spell. He was obsessed with her. So I've heard. Everyone knew she'd been a servant at the tower before she studied under Sokolov. She was a painter, an artist. Beneath my family's class for certain. My uncle became infatuated, but he looked older, made us keep candles lit all night. He was afraid of the dark. One now, night we all went to Waverly be? Boyles for a seance. It was an amusement. We didn't know what we were doing. I thought only the dead appeared at seances. But suddenly Delilah was in the room with us. My uncle nearly died of terror. She was there, but not there. Sounds familiar. We saw her as if she was very far away, standing in the old Brigmore Manor, painting at an easel, painting a name. It was your name, Dowd. Hmm. That's all I know. I hope you find what you're looking for. So, they had a vision of Delilah standing in the old Brigmore Manor painting Dowd's name. I like to imagine that it's just big and sloppy like a first grader wrote it. Just day, a, yo, day, Dowd. Now, let's see Tension what you gotta say. Yep. A rotten cold rich prison if they don't send him to the flooded district. It's poetic, I suppose. Maybe I was wrong about you, Dowd. Maybe you, you were. Maybe you weren't. We will see. Let's go home. Home time! We gonna go back home. Hostiles killed only one, but I didn't kill him. It was that trap that shot a grenade out and blew a little bit of blood out of his nose. You can't pin that on me, even though I triggered the trap. Anywho... The Surge. Now that's the name of a game that I played on the channel. The Surge. And this is also Just the Just Caldwin's hands were all that was holding this city together. With her dead, this city was a fast disintegrating web of guardsmen, overseers, nobles, weepers. Maybe this was the world the outsider was trying to show me all along. For years, I had held together a shadowy band of ex-mercenaries, street kids, and refugees through discipline and a bit of black magic. On the fringes of a city that ate up innocence and weakness. Maybe today was the end of that small world. I thought of Jessamine Caldwin's hands shuddering as she lost her grip on life. Whatever doom was coming, I deserved it. My people didn't. Yep. And, oh, no favors. Like I was about to say, this is the last mission in the Knife of Dunwall expansion. And then after this, we'll head over and do the Brigmore Witches. Because that is the... That continues directly after this. Let's open that door on up. Doubt we've been attacked. Overseers are tearing the place apart. Looking for you. They're holding our remaining men and their leader is in your chambers as we speak. If we take him out and free our men, we can still drive the Overseers back. I want yeah. to know how the bastards found us in the first place. Yeah, about that. We'll meet 
We'll figure that out eventually. I keep forgetting that choke dust is a thing in this game. In the DLC, anyway. It's... Basically, you just throw it, it makes a big cloud of gas on the ground, and people exposed to it just sit there, start choking on it, and then you can slip around and choke them out, or instantly kill them, whichever you prefer doing. And I'm gonna grab that, because that will make this a whole lot easier. And unfortunately, I ain't got enough runes to go getting the upgraded version of it. So I'll have to deal with what I got at the moment. And now we're going to take care of some of these overseer boys. You just skulking around my hideout like that. How dare you? This is my place of residence. You have your own go there, you sons of bitches. And now, nap time. What was that? Nap time. There we go. That's what the sleepy darts are for. And maybe... No, there aren't none over here. There's this thing, though. Ain't no sleepy darts here at the moment. Those are there when Corvo comes in. Except I ain't no Corvo. I'm a big bad dowd. That's what I am. That's what I always will be. Let me up on the thing. Oh, I'm too close to the music box, so I can't double jump. That's this what's going on here. There isn't any fight left in him. And you there with the music box. Right in the shin. You take a nap. There you go. And I still have plenty of sleepy bolts left. Yeah. I'll await your signal. You're damn right you will. You go await that signal while I take care of the rest of these ass wagons. They're tearing the place up. I wanted the bone charm, not the note. There we go. That's a thing that lets me move faster when I'm carrying people that are... Does it only apply to dead bodies when while carrying corpses? So yeah, I think it only applies to dead people. Won't be much use to me, if, since I'm knocking people out instead of slaughtering folks. And you going down. There we go. I gotta be careful here. I do not have an unlimited supply of sleepy darts. And I can't just chuck him down here because then he'll break his spine all up outside of his ass. And that would lead to an instant and very painful death. I cannot have that on my conscience as the professional assassin. I am the kind of person that knocks people out. That's what I do. That's who I will always be. And you take a nap right here. And I am all out of time for this episode. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching. I'm going to see you in the next one. Goodbye.